So your child's iPad is likely set up to have the editing function turned off. And the reason that we do this is just so that the students can't inadvertently make some changes. Um, they're really good sometimes at touching buttons and so they can sometimes accidentally change things that we don't want them to. So typically we like to lock them out of that editing function when they're using it and just turn it on for ourselves when we need it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I'm gonna go out of the Touch Chat app. Um, if I had guided access on, I would triple click and disable it. And I'm gonna go into the settings menu down at the bottom. And you'll see over here on the left-hand side, I can scroll through all my apps, um, just like on a phone if you have an iPhone. And down at the bottom, we have the Touch Chat app. And you'll see the allow editing is grayed out uh, down toward the bottom. But if I touch it, it's gonna turn green. And then I'm gonna go out of settings and back into the Touch Chat app. And in this, the yellow bar in between what we call the message window, so the window where the words pop up and the icons, I now have a button that says vocab and a button that says menu. And menu is where I'm gonna access my editing features that we're gonna talk about in a minute. So that's how you're gonna turn editing on if you wanna make some changes to your child's iPad.